Hello lovely Aquarius, welcome back to your October reading with me Laurie at the Wellington Witch. This is going to be for October 2020, so let's get into it. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising. So do feel free to look at the rest of it. And I also have the pick a card playlist as well. Actually, maybe because it's the Aries full moon, but um, I'm actually getting a strong Aries energy around you. Um, so it could be the fact that, again, this Aries full moon, 1st of October, is going to be affecting you quite a great deal. This is going to be if you are Aquarius rising in your third house of the mind, thinking, communication, um, social activity, interests you know um so it could be how you communicate and with mars being in retrograde you may find communication a little bit difficult um at this point in time so let's see movement choices decisions then we have the shadow aspect which is just the moon in normal tarot then we have the magician and then we have oh okay so you are kind of bookended here um by two pentacles and then you have the two major arcanas in the middle so we we ourselves are being bookended by two full moons this month so you have the aries full moon and you have the taurus full moon now the taurus full moon will be in your foundational house so self-care emotions your mother children femininity roots family and it could be the Mars retrograde is affecting how you communicate with your family. However, I do feel like you're coming into your own a little bit. I feel, for some reason, Aquarius, you don't feel as heavy as some of the other signs. So it could be that it's being very kind to you. And um, the aspects in the sky aren't that bad, depending on where things are in your chart. Um, so fingers crossed it's actually doing okay. Um, in the middle of the month, we also have the new moon in Libra, which if again, Aquarius rising, this is your seventh house. Now this will be of your relationships, your marriage, your contracts, your business partners, um, your sharing, you know, your interpersonal style, your joie de vivre kind of thing. Um, so in the middle, it could be that you're trying to reinvent yourself a little bit and maybe look at some soul contracts because you have the moon here and it feels a little bit like anything that you've been fearing everything that you've been kind of dreaming of and Aquarians you are the dreamers you are the people who have a lot of people around you but maybe don't have as many really close like tight-knit friendships and um, you have you're, you're able to fit into a room talk to anybody um we have the potential to do that i'm not saying that every aquarian does that but you have the potential to do that and i do feel that that is kind of your skill but there's something that you want to develop here for me i'm seeing a great deal of practicality and aquarians don't tend to like being nailed down to anything um but i do feel like the energy coming through is just quite durable it feels like you may be one of those pieces of putty where people kind of shape them and press them out you can become whatever you want to become this month that's what i'm feeling you can twist things you can change things i do feel your awareness is growing it's almost like you are passing the baton something you've done during lockdown or during 2020 is actually giving you a new perspective of yourself and maybe previous mistakes um coming over some stuff and actually understanding where you now fit into the new status quo um or how you can help the new things that are coming through here for you as well i this is not just like on a global scale it could be just helping yourself it could be helping your best friend it could be helping your family your workplace just making life easier it is something that gives you this sense of I can do something here. Things coming to fruition. Things actually developing for you. I do see a slight change um, in the way that you present yourself as well. So there could be something around here that you're dyeing your hair, you're chopping your hair off, you're doing something different with your style, um, presenting in a different way. 
um, changing something in your house, changing something, just change. That's something that I feel like maybe you're switching how you practice your spirituality or maybe something different like that. Um, wearing robes if you do witchcraft or something like that. It just feels a little bit different here. And I do see the material and spiritual prosperity. It's like you're bringing down the rewards from spirit and actually making use of them on this earth you're actually making the material you're making them manifest into a tangible reality so that's pretty darn good Aquarius <laughs> and then you have wow stand your ground this has not come out in I'm gonna say over a year now um so yeah pretty good uh it is just to say have faith I do think this is to do with your faith here and because this is ones, this is like the competition around you may have been fierce. It may have caused you to go inward. Like, how can I compete with people? How can I compete with this thing that's pressuring the world? How can I compete with, you know, um, a world that's just gone insular? And now you're going to have the results for that. Um, and I think some of you have been proven that you are a good person. You proven that you can stand your own company. <laughs> I just I don't know whether that's thirty percent of you, but I just feel like some of you are like, you know what? Yeah, I like myself, which is good. You know, is is something that you feel like I'm a catch. You know, <laughs> I, I I'm really good actually. I'm fine. So blow your own trumpet if you want, but yeah, I do feel like you do have some choices and you do have maybe some decisions surrounding your family, surrounding your foundations, even where you're living. Yeah, where you're living seems to be coming up, actually. Um, there is movement that you want to do. There's movement that you want to accomplish. So I feel like if you do it at the beginning of October, just try to integrate everything you've learned this year with your decisions in October. It's going to be difficult to manifest during this end of the year um but i do think that you could set it up pretty nicely for maybe february next year if you start it now um the material and spiritual prosperity of it that will come and you may actually start to see little results so what you start now you'll probably start to see the sliver of results coming into you opportunities that maybe you didn't think would come but that's all because you're going in and maybe doing some shadow work maybe doing some learning um about what you can do and what limits you have. Everyone has them. Everyone has limits. Um, but I do feel that some of you may be asking for help in the wrong places. And if you ask for help for somebody who doesn't want good things for you, that is where the challenge may be. So do stand your ground. Do have faith that you can get what you want. I'm seeing property here. I don't know whether you're wanting to move. I don't know whether you're wanting to develop something new. Um, but it does feel like a shift change. Um, yeah. But you are the magician. You can manifest it. And I do think that you're going to have the proof of that. You are going to have the proof. Now, these are relationship cards, but I don't do them just for romance. I do them for, um everything like interpersonal relationships of all kinds so what does Aquarius need to know for the month of October 2020 right we have this could be the one okay I want to get the back one for some reason or is it this one this one okay and then we have unrequited love well which one is it universe <laughs> that may be a question that you're asking yourself you've already met the romantic partner you seek there's not enough attraction. Okay, so, yeah. You need to know which desires are real and which desires are not. Because I think that the danger is people perceive you to be like a kite, always up in the air, very hard to pin down. So I think that there is a feeling that, yeah, you have met somebody that is really integral to your life who I don't think you have as good a relationship, friendship, whatever, with, um, that could help lead you through this manifestation. And maybe someone in your life that you're putting a lot of attention on, someone in your life that you're, you know, oh, my best buddy, my best friend, isn't actually the one that you need 
to have as central in your life as this one. So whether you're with a partner or not, you know, this is just what I'm getting. It's the fact that you're not paying attention to the one who is integral for things that you want to manifest. And I believe that, um, you know, again, for instance, if it was that you're dating somebody, but it's just not there, but you've dated somebody years ago that you're still friends with, and they are still very much prevalent, it could be a little bit of that, but I'm just feeling like somebody, you play, you're misplacing some um, feelings here, and somebody who you maybe not, don't talk to that often anymore was actually key to doing something. So maybe see if you can strike up a, a very brief um, but hopeful conversation and see where that leads. I don't know. It depends on what you feel like in your shadow self, shadow work, manifesting, whether that aligns with what you want. Okie dokie. So let's see what the moon has to say for my lovely Aquarius is here. before I get onto this I feel like um for some people uh you, you, if you don't know I'm a writer and I have a lot of writer friends so for some of you who may view this um this is for instance if you've suddenly found an agent who seems to represent everything you could ever want but you queried somebody who rejected you a while ago and you had your heart set on them they are still yours, I feel, but it's just shiny thing over here. It just feels a little bit out of touch. Anyway, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. So this is just saying, if everything seems to be going 100 miles an hour when things start happening for you, just take time to breathe. I think even now, don't get so hung up on certain aspects, like it has to happen, it has to happen. And, you know, being so determined to stand your ground and prove things just take the time to release some of that pent-up energy that you may be having at this point in time you know just take the time to breathe in and just let it flow out if at all possible um because i know that sometimes if we are you know like that thing of you let out a breath you didn't know you were holding to do a cliche it's that thing of what's gonna happen what's gonna happen i'm i'm so um you know, anticipation and oh my gosh, just let it release a little bit. Even now, as you're watching this video, take a breath and breathe and just let all the tension leave and just, you know, let things come to you naturally rather than hope that there's something that's going to answer you within five minutes. So just do that a little bit. I hope that made sense, Aquarius. Do let me know in the comments below what October is bringing for you and of course take care of yourselves and each other but in the meantime I wish you the very best of luck and I'll speak to you guys very very soon.